Are you a draconian starseed? What is up, alien army? I am Oculus, Oculus, the alien, alien next, next door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of, of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything esoteric, occult, and alien. Today's topic, we are going to be diving deep into draconian starseeds. Now, let's start off by discovering who Thuban and Alpha Draconis is. Alpha Dracronis is located in the star system known as Draco, which is located in the northern hemisphere as viewed from Earth. This star system is located approximately 303.3 light years from Earth and is visible from Earth for most of the year. Thuban and Alpha Draconis are interchangeably utilized in terms of their names, with Thuban meaning Head of the Serpent, though this star is located in the tail section of the dragon in this constellation. The Draco star system is located in the night sky near the constellations of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, Hercules, Boots, and Lyra. Alpha Draconis, or Thuban, can be located by finding the Big Dipper's inner two stars and moving downward in an invisible line. A fun fact about Thuban is that this star was actually a North Pole star from the 4th through the 2nd millennium. The draconian energy vibrates from the third dimension to the twelfth dimensional frequency. Draconian star seeds, much like other galactic star seed origins, have incarnated on Earth with the intent of fulfilling their specific mission. This mission may differ from individual to individual, and it is purported that there are two different types of draconians that are incarnate on Earth today. There are the evolved draconians, who are on Earth to help raise the vibration of humanity, and there are the unevolved draconians, those who have incarnated to Earth intending only to utilize Earth's resources for their own gain and personal power. The Draconians are quite a dynamic and headstrong race of beings, no matter what their intentions are, and this is because of their reptilian roots. When one thinks of a dragon, an image of an imposing large reptile that breathes a fire comes to mind and is often thought of as a force not to be reckoned with. The Draconians first gained access to this universe through a portal located in the constellation of Lyra. They can be likened to somewhat of a military in the way that they set about achieving their goals. The Draconian agenda was initially to come forth, take over, and multiply. I came, I saw, I conquered, is a phrase that displays draconian energy. The draconian nature is visceral and competent, getting the job done no matter what the cost. They are found many times in positions of power and authority, as well as in military careers. This is the Builder Starseed Race and Draconians are known for their social rankings and hierarchical structures within their societies. Draconians are also believed to have abundant shapeshifter abilities and can transform themselves from one physical vehicle to another. It is believed by some that some of the most prominent 
wealthy and powerful families on Earth are of draconian descent, but we'll not get into that here. As the draconian frequency resonates beginning at 3D, they may have some unevolved egoistic traits, including hunger for domination and control, a combative warlike mentality, and a thirst for supreme power and material gain. When the draconian energy is evolved and operating at the frequency of the higher dimensional planes, they bring order, harmony, and structure to their third dimensional surroundings. They are also courageous and fearless, especially when protecting their loved ones and physical structures. Their innate reptilian protect and preserve instincts kick in, and they will fight to the death for a cause they believe in. Some physical characteristics of draconian starseeds are a build that is commanding, confident, and many times muscular, or the body type that tends to gain muscle mass very easily. Eyes, which appear to change right in front of their audience, perhaps changing colors, or their pupils seem to be different shapes other than the common round. Colder than average skin, and many times their skin is drier than average as well oftentimes becoming flaky, especially in cold or dry climates. The teeth tend to be smaller than average or sharper than average, and the lips may appear thin or dry. Some energetic qualities of draconian star seeds are a willful nature, confidence in situations that would seem to make others crumble, a strong sense of duty to their career, country, or family, and a high regard for respect and order within their community. They also have strong visceral instincts within their material realm domain and have an undulating power emanating from their aura. They may enjoy being physically active either through exercise or their chosen profession. This is the type of individual who will snorkel among sharks and hike to the top of Mount Everest. Their physical stamina tends to be placed as a higher priority than their psychic abilities, and the draconian starseed may be an expert at body language communication or conveying a point across via physical maneuvers. Draconians are oftentimes very guarded with their own inner emotions, and many times are viewed as the strong and soic type. This is not an individual who will be comfortable expressing their feelings or wearing their heart on their sleeve. This starseed group may be found many times in positions of power, or at the very minimum, working their way up the corporate ladder, so to speak. They rarely make a good subordinate and tend to always have an air of authority that surrounds them, no matter where they are. Draconian starseeds are the type to convey their message through their physical posture more so than telepathically, and oftentimes naturally are found in a power stance pose even when they aren't trying. Some ways to become closer to your own draconian characteristics are to practice kundalini breathing to activate the energetic serpent energy that resides within us all, to meditate or carry upon you a green crystal such as emerald, serpentine, prenite, or bloodstone preferably of the rough variety, so that you can feel every crevice. And to focus upon keeping your heart chakra balanced and etherically bathed in green light. Some may also choose to participate in earthing, as their bare feet being covered with cool soil tends to have a soothing and 
homey effect on them. As you open up to your own innate draconian frequency, you will begin to notice in yourself more confidence and courage, a stronger sense of self, a sense of duty to take charge of your physical experience, and a surge of visceral energy and vitality. There will be a knowing of your purpose here on earth and a supreme desire to fulfill it and become victorious in whichever field you choose. As one proceeds along their journey, vibrating with draconian energy, they may notice other draconian star seeds in their path. Draconian star seeds are easily recognized by their confident aura, sense of authority, and the way their eyes tend to have a chameleon-like quality when engaging with them. Due to the mass awakening of consciousness on Earth at this time, more and more soul tribes are being reunited, and draconian star seeds, as well as many other star seeds, are coming together and embracing who their soul truly knows they are. These are the major characteristics of the draconian star seed. We send you good vibes, friends, and we'll chit chat again soon.